the interaction between soil and crop is affected by management. So far we have studied the effect of field surface practices and mulches. In this part of the training module, let's focus on soil fertility. First, I will describe the effect of soil fertility on canopy development and on water productivity. Here we are in a field where death is cultivated with different levels of soil fertility. As a consequence of a low application, I can see that my canopy cover is less developed. So when there is no water stress and unlimited soil fertility, I will have a nice development of the canopy cover over time. Due to fertility stress, I will have a less developed canopy cover. This is the result of three effects. The first one is slower canopy development. It takes longer to reach maximum canopy cover. The second effect is that I have a less dense canopy. The maximum canopy cover will be lower. And the third effect is that during the crop cycle, my canopy cover is already declining. To describe this, we need soil fertility stress coefficients and actually three one which is affected the canopy growth coefficient, the other one affecting the maximum canopy cover, and a third one which describes the decline of the canopy cover in function of time. Additionally, there is also an effect of soil fertility on water productivity. When there is a drop in soil fertility stress, the water productivity decreases and less biomass can be produced per unit of water. This is once again described by a stress coefficient, the one affecting the water productivity. The effect of soil fertility on water productivity is not linear throughout the season. In the beginning of the season, we hardly see any effect on the water productivity since there are sufficient nutrients still available in the root zone. But after a time when more and more biomass is developed, we get a progressive depletion of the nutrients from the reservoir and as a consequence the water productivity declines. The application of fertilizers is specified in the field management menu. Therefore, I select the field button in the main menu and I can now update the field management to the level of soil fertility, which is specified in the soil fertility tab sheet. By default, we have non-limiting fertilizers. Here, the canopy development is displayed. It corresponds with the one which is in the crop menu. In this tab sheet, I can see that also the water productivity is not affected by soil fertility. Now to describe the effect of soil fertility, we have to specify what is the biomass production which you can expect in the field due to fertility stress. For example, if we know that the production which you can expect in an experimental field without any water stress is 10 tons per hectare, but you know that in farmer's field in a good rainy year, so there is no water stress or it is not important, you get only 6 tons per hectare, then the relative biomass production is only 60%. Consequently, aquacrop is adjusted the canopy development and the water productivity in such a way that without any stresses, the biomass that can be produced is 
60%. So let us run some examples. Let's start with a non-limiting soil fertility. We grow a crop in Brussels, but there is sufficient rain. And if I run this simulation, I can see that there are no water stresses affecting the biomass production. The yield is high, up to 4.9 tons per hectare. And also the water productivity is high, 1.57 kilograms per cubic meter of water lost by ET. If I apply less fertilizers, for example, I go to near optimal, which corresponds with a relative biomass of 79%, and run the example again, I see that due to fertility stress, the canopy cannot fully develop, and as a consequence, my yield reduced to 3.9 tons, and of course, my ET water productivity dropped as well to 1.32. If I further reduce my soil fertility, for example, to moderate, I only can expect 60% of my yield, 2.9 tons, and my ET water productivity drops further to 106. In this example, we see immediately the effect of fertility stress on production, since there is no water stress. In Belgium, farmers apply a lot of fertilizers because they know that not water stress, but fertility stress is the limiting factor. In this screen, we summarize the results. Slight decrease of soil fertility results in a strong decrease of crop yield and ET water productivity if there is no water stress. Let's now run the same example, but now in an arid environment. I remove the climate, I keep the same soil, and I put unlimited soil fertility on the soil, and I run my simulation by assuming an ET node of 7 mm per day. If I run this example, I can see that the crop can just survive with the water stored in the root zone at the beginning of the season. It was after a heavy rainfall. And the crop can even not reach the end of the cycle. And the yield is low, 1.3 tons. And ET water productivity is low, 0.77. This is an arid environment. And the result of low yield has nothing to do with the fertilizers. Let's illustrate that by putting less fertilizers, which farmers are likely to do. If I put near optimal and run the same example again, we see that the yield even slightly increases to 1.4 tons and the production ET water productivity to 0.81. The reason why the production increase it, it is because the canopy development is slower and as such the crop can stay longer in the field before early senescence kicks in. This becomes clear by applying even less fertilizers, moderate, And we see that now the yield increases to 1.6 ton and the ET water productivity to 0.90. Even applying less fertilizers will not affect the yield. 
if I go to about half, my yield is still 1.6 ton and the production is 0.92. If I even apply less fertilizers, poor, the yield remains at 1.6 and the production at 0.91. In the lower table, we see the summary of the results. A decline of soil fertility stress results even in an increase of the yield because due to poorer soil fertility, the crop will not grow vigorously and as a consequence consume less water and can survive longer. This resulted in a higher yield and a higher water productivity. When compared with fertility stress in a humid climate, it is just the opposite effect. So these two examples illustrate the combined effect of fertility stress and water stress. To conclude, the soil fertility level in the field is specified in the field management menu. Optimal, near optimal, moderate, poor. How the crop reacts to fertility stress is however a crop parameter and needs to be calibrated in the crop menu. This is explained in another training module.